Uh, good morning friends uh, welcome to the new video today today I'll be talking about flash uh, flash is an animation software package provided by Adobe it was previously owned by a company known as uh, Macromedia now it is owned by a company known as Adobe so today we will be discussing about the different features that are available on flash the different topics will be discussed thoroughly in this video okay. this is a blank flash document okay the top of the document the blue color part is known as the title bar it displays the name or uh, of the open document below the title bar is the menu bar it gives us access to all the commands available on flash like file edit view insert modify text command control windows etc etc everything is there in the menu bar there are more uh, uh, this menu bar contains more commands also if you click on file you will see various uh, commands available if you click on again edit you will also see various commands available in the edit option the tool panel it contains a set of tools to draw paint select and modify objects in the workspace the tool palette can be divided into four parts the first part is the tool area the second part is the view area the third part is the color area and the fourth part is the option area this is the stage area okay it is the rectangular workspace area where we place our content to create a drawing or a movie let us talk about the work area it is referred to the light gray area around the stage we use it to place the objects that we require in our drawing or our movies that we want to appear on the stage the property inspector window this helps us to organize and modify the various properties of the object the next is the timeline see the timeline is a fixed window that stays on top of every objects in the workspace this is the area where the graphics and the elements are assembled sequence in a sequential order that allows the user to view the order of events in sequence see at the top of the timeline you will see some numbers like 1 5 10 15 etc these are the time timelines this tells us where the object is like the first if the first object is in 1 then the next object if i place it in 5 the next object will start from the fifth second then if i put another object on 10 the next object will be displayed in the 10th second so that is why we use the timeline tool is the layer panel this helps us to manage the layers layers are like multiple film strips stacked on top of one another each containing a different image that appears on the stage I will be showing you how to use the line tool this is my toolbar sorry tool panel from the tool panel I click on the line tool after that I drag drag it in the stage this is my line now see if I want to change the color of the line I click here I choose a particular color the color changes if I want to change the thickness of the line I click here I pull it forward increases I pull it backward 
decreases or I can directly put a number here. If I want to change the style of the line, I click here and there are different modes. You can choose any one of them. If I want to make, make a line like this, I can do it here. If I want to make a line like this, I can do it here. If I want to make a line like this, I can do it. I will be uh, uh, showing you how to use the pencil tool in the tool panel I click on the pencil tool this is the pencil tool I click here once I click on the pencil tool I have to go here because there are three options in the pencil tool the three modes you can see the straighten mode the smooth mode and the ink mode in the straighten mode what happens is if you draw something if you draw something using your free hand it might not be exactly straight so the straight pencil tool will try to uh, straighten it see it has straightened it the next option is smooth tool it will try to make the edges smoother this is the use of the straighten tool and the last one is the ink tool it will allow us to draw just like we do using freehand it will not do any modification 